Today we'll be looking at the gem called Clamby. It is a gem that I wrote a few years ago and it serves a simple but necessary purpose. If you're using Carrier Wave, Refile, or Paperclip to handle file uploadings, then this gem can come in handy. It'll scan the file for viruses and if a virus is present then it gives the option of handling it and responding back to the user that this file is infected. This gem does use ClamScan as a dependency and I highly recommend that you use the daemon version of ClamScan so it's not having to load up the whole instance every time it scans a file. And we will also use FreshClam to keep our ClamScan definitions updated. And because we are going to be using ClamScan, we do need to install this first. And you can just do that typing brew install ClamAV. Once that's finished, you'll need to edit the file that's located under the ClamAV. So I'll just copy this path and change my directory. All right, so once you navigate to the ClamAV folder, we can have a look at the contents and you'll see that we have our two sample files. I'll just simply copy out the sample file and remove the .sample at the end of each one of these. And then I'll edit each one of them. And around line eight, you'll need to comment out the example. And on line 101, you'll also want to uncomment the TCP socket. Close and save that, and do the same for the fresh clam. All right, so once we've made changes to our configuration files, we can type fresh clam to update our virus definitions. And this could take a while depending on your internet speed. And then you can run clam D. And clam D will daemonize the clam scan to run as a service. Be sure you allow incoming connections to clam D. So in this example, we will be using Carrier Wave. However, Clamby will work with Carrier Wave, Refile, or Paperclip because we're adding the checks for the virus scans in the model callbacks. So it should be fairly agnostic of your uploader. So to get started, we'll add the Clamby gem into our gem file. Be sure to run bundle and restart your Rails application. And then under your config initializer folder, we'll create a new file called clamby.rb and then we'll just paste in the initial configuration. Now I do highly recommend that you change your daemonize to true because we will want the file to be scanned quickly so we're not making the user wait for a response. And today we'll look at two examples where we throw an error on a virus found and then how we handle it without an error thrown on the virus found. So first we'll look at throwing an error. So in our application controller.rb, we'll just rescue from the exceptions virus detected and then redirect the user to the root URL, alerting them that a virus was found on the uploaded file. So our uploaded file model looks something like this, where we are mounting our uploader for file. This is carrier wave specific, but then we're doing a validate where we scan for viruses, which is just a private method, if the file has changed. So if the attribute that we are wanting to run a virus scan on has changed, then we all want to scan it for the virus. So you may need to change the path for this method, depending on how your uploader retrieves the file path. And unless if clamby.safe, which safe is a method that we have with Clamby, and we pass in the path, then we'll delete the file. So within our application, if we choose a file, you'll see here in my downloads, I have two separate files, a naughty virus, and then a clean image. If we upload our clean image and save, you'll see that it was successfully created. If we now try to upload a virus, so this is a legitimate virus, but it is just a virus signature, so it actually doesn't do anything, but it should be caught by any modern virus detection. And we upload this, we get redirected to our root URL, and we get the error message that a virus was found on the uploaded file. If we go back to our clamby configuration and we change the error file virus to false, be sure to restart your Rails application so then we can test how we can gracefully handle a virus found. So within our uploaded file model, we can add a new line in our scan for viruses and we'll just call this self.errors.add file and then virus found. So if we try to upload a clean file now, again we'll upload our clean image, it should still work as intended, but if we upload a virus now, so we'll select our naughty virus, we should get our error with the virus found, but if we had other things filled out in our form, and we upload a bad file, we still retain our form information, but just the form submission fails because the virus was found. 
So Clamby has been tested with Rails 3, 4, and 5, and it works well with all three of them. And again, it is agnostic of your uploader that you choose, as long as you have your callback methods in your model. So be sure to check out the documentation because there is an additional method for safe, which is the inverse of virus. Well, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. For more videos, check out driftandruby.com.